Good morning and welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel guys. My name is Didi Tayhutu. I am the guy that four years ago sold everything he had, all his belongings, inclusive his house, his cars, his company, his pension, went all into Bitcoin, took his family into a camper van and started traveling the world. Now, four years later, we are still traveling the world. I am now reporting to you guys here from Koh Phangan, Thailand on this beautiful beach in Chalak Lom. In today's videos, I'm going to talk to you about the Bitcoin price, what to expect and that we will see a very important moment tonight in about 21 hours. As requested by you guys, I am going to show you this beautiful food market in Thailand where I try to pay with Bitcoins. I'm also going to show you the alternatives, how to pay with Bitcoins for food here in Thailand and all over the world, how we as a family succeed to live solely on cryptocurrency and how we order food. Also, I'm going to give you guys a huge warning in using multiple apps on an iPhone because these apps have access to your clipboard and I know you guys are copying your Bitcoin addresses, maybe even your private keys, maybe even your seed words, and you copy them and you paste them. And if you copy and paste them, you, they will temporarily be spaced onto your clipboard. And when they're on your clipboard, for example, TikTok has access to your clipboard and can take your private key and your Bitcoins from you guys. Also announcing the winner of the t-shirt today. No, I'm lying. The two winners of the two t-shirts today, because I'm going to give two t-shirts away to randomly selected people that shared, commented and liked my video two days ago. So I hope you really enjoy watching this video. Let's take a jump into my office. Oh, guys, good morning. Yesterday, massively was voted, guys, that I needed to make a video about the Thai food markets. So I did, of course, but I needed to do it yesterday evening. So I will edit yesterday's evening's clip into this one. But the question of talking about food made me again realize, ah, most people don't even understand how we live as a family and how we buy food. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys how we do this. Yes, it is raining again, but I don't care. It's very refreshing. So in this video, I'm going to show you that we are able to buy food all over the world. Also, I'm going to show you that I, that I tried to pay with Bitcoin yesterday on this beautiful local Thai food market. And I'm going to try to pay with Bitcoin here in the local restaurant. Both of these options don't succeed. We always have two other options. I'm going to show all of them in this video. So keep watching the video till the end. And you, and you will only see how amazing these Thai food markets are and how amazing the food looks and how colorful the food looks. We'll also see if I succeed to pay for food in a local restaurant here in Thailand. If it comes to the Bitcoin price, we are still fighting the same resistance levels, guys. It's getting very boring at the moment, but the only very important moment for me is tonight, it's about 21 hours from here, then we are closing this monthly candle. If we are closing this monthly candle above 9,300, this is a very bullish sign. Because then we have broken the multi-year trend line, the multi-year, because then we will have broken the multi-year downwards trend line, guys. And if you're able to break this downwards trend line and close the candle above the trend line and open a new candle above this trend line, this trend line can become support and maybe we can take off from here. Again, the bull market is not a market that will take us two weeks or three weeks or one month or two months. It will take up to two years to get a new all-time high maybe. Always zoom out in crypto, be patient, invest now, and then wait for some months or years to see a very beautiful return on investment. If we need to believe this crypto research report, we will see a Bitcoin price of 397 thousand US dollar before 2030 and if we see a 397 thousand Bitcoin price before 2030 altcoins will follow if this report is stating Ethereum will then be around 3644 Litecoin will then be around 2550 Bitcoin cash would be in a huge number of 13,000 US dollar per Bitcoin cash. And the biggest winner, if we look percentage wise, would be XLM. That price would be around $7.80. 
but that would be 11,000 percent growth. Ah, now you're thinking, how many percent did the others grow then? If we reach these prices of Bitcoin, 397,000, that will mean that it is a 4,000 percent Bitcoin growth. For Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash, both is a more than a 5,000 percent growth. So an XLM is an 11,000 percent growth. Ethereum, following this report, would be the only one lagging behind because that would only be a 1600 percent uh, growth. But again, if you remember, I talked about the Ethereum and this fund man manager that expected the Ethereum to reach a 1 trillion US dollar market cap, and that would put Ethereum at a 9,000 US dollar price before 2030. So, you know, don't trust all the things that these reports say, but they can give you a direction that how Bitcoin and all other cryptocurrencies will develop in the future because they analyze the market, they analyze how much capital there is around the world and they just make this assumption on this growth curve and all the calculations that the price of Bitcoin will be 397,000 before 2030. So these are all estimations. Nobody has a glass ball. It, they are not predictions. They are all estimations. So we can see in a few years times what happened you know for me now the focus is in the next one to two years because i want to see a next bull run i want to see a new all-time high but before we will see this new all-time high i just want to see tonight's monthly candle close above 9300 us dollars if we are not able to close this candle above this downward trend line then guys i really think we could go down from here for some time that doesn't mean i'm not bullish anymore it just says that we could go down to 8k maybe even 7k to gather some strength to gather some other investors to push again and break the 10,500 resistance and then we can go into this bull run so just have some stable currencies aside so you can always invest into bitcoin ethereum or litecoin whatever currency you prefer when there will be another dip for all the social media users guys i just want to warn you because now there was an article that was stating that tiktok is having access to your clipboard not only tiktok but many other apps in your iphone have access to your clipboard function which means every time you copy your bitcoin wallet address they could have access to this address every time you copy your private keys or if you put your seeds in any kind of document it's temporary kept on the clipboard and they have access to their clipboard so they can withdraw this information from your phone without you even knowing it They don't know what Bitcoin is yet. I need to educate them. I need to educate them. What did you take? I don't know. No Thai food for Bitcoin on the market, guys. We need to pay with Thai baht. So I need to use Thai baht in Thai. <laughs> 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 
Guys, as you could see, I had tried to pay with bitcoins at the food market. I need to watch out. We don't accept bitcoin yet at the Pentip food market. Maybe tomorrow I will take a breakfast where they will accept. Thank you, Jesse. Yes, I love this one. Maybe I can try to buy some breakfast tomorrow when I pay with bitcoin in my own hometown, Chalaglam. Food market, no bitcoins. Hmm. How can I educate these guys that they need to start accept bitcoins for all this amazing Thai food? This is the world champion table tennis player. <laughs> it's like table tennis, like Bitcoin. That's eight, table tennis, yeah. 8K, like 10K, 8K, 10K, 8K, 10K. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Guys, this amazing restaurant I am now in is called Multi House. It's in Chalaklam in Koh Phangan, Thailand. One of my favorite restaurants. Sadly, I didn't visit it much this year yet, but normally I go here to have a beautiful lunch, breakfast, evening, and pay with Bitcoins for food. I'm going to show you that it's possible. I'm going to have a delicious coffee, some breakfast, maybe even play some ta table tennis. And then I'm going to finally pay my beautiful breakfast here at this restaurant where you have this amazing view, guys. Look behind me. You have this amazing view of the sea and you can pay with Bitcoins and maybe even other cryptocurrencies. I need to check. I would love to have a double cappuccino. Okay, you like cinnamon? Yes, okay. please, some cinnamon. And two scrambled eggs uh -huh. with the rest on it and some fruit fresh okay. fruit butter. okay thank you yeah, enjoy you can see this is what you call a breakfast guys scrambled eggs fresh salad Homemade jam. You try, but you can't it. Now, Go to multi house. You can pay with bitcoins. Now I need to give some bitcoins. Pay <laughs> 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 hey, my bitcoins. Exchange of energy. <laughs> yeah. Zero zero one two. I just scanned this QR code here. Possible to pay by bitcoin. I'm putting in zero point zero zero one two. Give you. And I think thanks. Amazing. Cool. And I. The bitcoins. On are my bitcoins, man. Thank yeah, you. I see. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you, man, for the amazing breakfast. See you next time. We're so happy. <laughs> <laughs> How cool was that guys? I was able to pay with bitcoins for my breakfast. I needed to pay 0.0012 bitcoins. The question now is to you guys, to my followers, how much did I pay in euros or US dollars, whatever currency you prefer, how much is 0.0012 bitcoins that I now just paid to eat some beautiful breakfast and have an amazing coffee at Multi House Kopangan. As you can see guys, I just walked out of the restaurant onto the beach and I am like 50 steps away now from my own house. So in Kopangan, 50 meters away from my own house, I am able to spend my bitcoins to eat breakfast, lunch or dinner in the evenings. This is how easy it is to spend bitcoins. You saw how fast the transaction went. Don't let people fool you the transactions are slow. It took only a minute for him to receive the bitcoins. I scanned the QR code, I sent the bitcoins, so the confirmation was in in a minute. Then he needs to wait for a few more confirmations to finally be able to use the bitcoins. But you know, the trust in Bitcoin by Bitcoin people is so big that if they see only the first confirmation of receiving bitcoins, they agree on a payment already. For all the other times, guys, we cannot pay with Bitcoin directly. We order food, for example, online, at takeaway.com if you can see no they are not paying me takeaway.com it's just a website we mean we use because we were able to use this because the founding company behind takeaway is called thuisbezorg.nl and this is a dutch company and you can order all kinds of food on thuisbezorg.nl and you can pay directly with bitcoin they use bitpay as a payment processor and they have many websites nowadays so they have in germany lieferando takeaway.com in belgium 
since net in Poland, Lieferando in uh, Austria, eat.ch in uh, Switzerland. So they, you can see you can pay with Bitcoin for ordering food online on many of these websites. Um, let's, for example, try the Swiss website. Uh, you can see in Souk how many restaurants and what kinds of kitchens you can pay with Bitcoin. Italian uh, food, Indian food, kebab, burger, Chinese, Thailand, Asian, uh, Italian snacks, pasta, American, chicken, show all the restaurants. So you can order your pizza, you can order uh, any restaurant called The Station, Thai Kitchen, Sushi Bar. You can see all these restaurants, you can order all this food, and at the end when you check out, you pay with Bitcoin, the payment page and takeaway. Uh, you can pay with cash, you can pay with meal vouchers, you can pay with a credit card, you can pay with Mr. Cash, you can use PayPal. Um, this one, PayPal reference payment, I don't know what it is, the difference between PayPal and that one, I don't care. And you have the most important one, Bitcoin, guys. You can use Bitcoin at this international site, takeaway.com. So you can use your Bitcoins to pay in all these restaurants, in all these countries, that we just listed so you can see it again the netherlands belgium germany poland austria switzerland luxembourg portugal vietnam bulgaria romania and so and there is an other option if we cannot use takeaway then we need to buy coupons we buy coupons on bit refill the affiliate link to bit refill is in my uh, description so yes this is a beautiful option as well and um, you just go who you sort like we can search for not for thailand but we say worldwide and we are going to search for food we search for food and then we can find all these coupons we can buy and spend or exchange into food you know in these restaurants so doordash uber eats um, tesco carrefour uh, conet sainsbury's asda starbucks carrefour domino pizza safeway 7-eleven Albertsons, I don't even know all these brands here. Applebee's, a very uh, famous one. Um, Italian, a grill restaurant. You can use these coupons and cash those coupons at the restaurant. So I buy the coupons with Bitcoin. And then after having bought these uh, coupons with Bitcoin, I go to the restaurant and then we spend them. Burger King even, guys. They are also now accepting Bitcoins without even realizing they're accepting Bitcoins probably. So many options to buy food for a family all over the world by using all these kinds of coupons or direct payments. You can see, for example, if you go to uh, this one, um, I want to buy a Domino's coupon. You can see here Domino's Pizza. Uh, this gift code may only work in Mexico. It's saying I can pay in Bitcoin, so I can order a coupon, this one or this option, and then you buy it. And then you can just use these coupons to pay for your pizza at Domino's in Mexico. Many options, I can't show them all, but these are two options that we use, BitRefill and Takeaway.com, when we want to order food and pay with Bitcoins directly. Before I forget, guys, I still need to do the giveaway for the two t-shirts. We are going to do this now. And um, as you can see, this is the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. It was about this video over here, free t-shirt. I'm going to click the video. Um, the one that likes so the, the one that liked the video, that shared the video, and that left the comment could win. So it was liked 300 times, but only 157 reactions. So I need to choose between these 157, and then I'm going to select the winner now. Um, if one of the winners that I select now did not share the video, I will select another winner tomorrow, because you need to share it. Or you share it after they announce your name, or I select somebody else. I need to be honest, guys. So let's try and Siri. Siri, give me a random number between 0 and 157. It's 38. Number 38. I'm not going to calculate my first two because that's on mine. One. 36, 37, 38. Richard K, you won the first t shirt. I am going to um, send you a private message and send it here. So you're welcome, guy Richard. You are one of the winners. I'm going to select the next winner, guys. Siri, give me another random number between 0 and 157. 
It's 153. 153? You must be joking. I need to calculate all the way down there. Or I do it the smart way because I know there are 157 um, answers of which the first two are mine. So that leaves 155 answers. So that would be the last answer and then two answers before that one. So let's see if I can do it that way. This one is the 155th, 154, 153. Thumbs up for Didi Bitcoin by Kuhn Elders. Kuhn, you are one of the winners of the t-shirts. You won a t-shirt. Contact me. So Siri selected two random winners. Thanks all for making the comments and making the effort for liking the video and sharing the video. And I will soon do another giveaway because I love to give away cool t-shirts. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so you'll be notified on every new video I make. Share this video with your friends and even leave a comment if you're up to. We already broke the 300 resistance of thumbs up in the last two videos. Can we please do this again? I'm not going to put the bar higher at the moment. I want to see another video with 300 thumbs ups, a thumbs up here, a thumbs up there, a thumbs up everywhere on my screen. I just want to see more thumbs up because that's very good for the YouTube algorithm that will push our videos higher in the YouTube ladder and more people will see my videos and that will grow our channel. And by growing the channel, we increase the monetization and by increasing the monetization, we can give more to the people that really need it. I hope you really enjoyed and also learned something from the food part, how we as a family are able to live completely on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. We were not successful on the Thai market, on the Thai food market. They didn't even know what Bitcoin was. Even when I showed my tattoo, they were like, huh, Bitcoin? <laughs> they always say, cap, 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 which means they don't understand what we are saying, but they just say, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's a Thai way of doing. Um, that's how you can see that how these markets still need to evolve. Because if you go to China, for example, or if you go to Bangkok, Bangkok, you can go to many markets and you can already pay with WeChat. WeChat is an alternative to uh, WhatsApp. WeChat is able to provide a payment solution. WhatsApp is not able yet, but uh, maybe Mark Zuckerberg can uh, change that in the near future if he goes into court. But WeChat is able to do it, so you can pay with WeChat in Bangkok, in local market, local food stamps. They have a QR code, you just use your chat app and you scan the QR code and you pay. The food stamps don't, still don't have this possibility, so I can start to educate people here more and more. I just need to find an entry point to some of the markets Market, food stand holders that wants to understand the concept and then I will educate him and then maybe he will educate the rest of the market and that's uh, how I try to create mass adoption on the other hand guys you also saw that I was able to pay for my coffee and my breakfast here just in Chalaklon locally at the restaurant this is my preferred way of paying with bitcoins just directly paying with bitcoins peer to peer doing a payment in a restaurant in a store or wherever else on the world. This is the goal and I succeeded in this goal in this local restaurant. Oh yes, I completely forgot. Yesterday we were married eight years. We had an amazing day. It was relaxing. We swam in the sea. We had some visitors and we went for dinner at the food market. And after the food market, my wife and I romantically went to one of the beautiful Thai bars here in Chalaklam. It's called Woodstock. You can imagine what kind of bar that was. And we had a beautiful evening there with some drinks, with some friends and celebrated that we were already eight years married now we are going into our ninth years of marriage and in my ninth or tenth year of marriage i will probably see a bitcoin price above 100,000 us dollar how beautiful is this if we can celebrate my, my tenth year's anniversary of marriage and then the tenth year we will see 100k that's in two years maybe too long hopefully a little bit sooner wish you an amazing day and thanks for watching the video and see you tomorrow again Bye.